Having crossed the walkways of the Duaro Dalf, the Bridge of Khazadum is now in sight. The slender bridge once served as the heart of the eastern defences of Moria, and now it looks to be the Fellowship's salvation if they can cross it. With no enemies in front of them, Gandalf urges his companions forwards and towards the bridge, for crossing it will lead them out of the Misty Mountains. Yet as they make haste towards the Bridge of Khazadum, the Fellowship can still hear the thunderous footsteps of the Balrog behind them, the scuttling of the Moria goblins from either side. As they near the bridge, the Fellowship can see the goblins closing in, which may slow them down just enough to be at the mercy of the Balrog. With the approaching Balrog shaking the halls, Gandalf knows that the only way to save his companions is to destroy the Bridge of Khazadum once they are all safely across. However, he will need to summon all of his might to be able to crack the bridge and send it crumbling into the abyss. If Gandalf can destroy the bridge before the Balrog can reach them, they may all yet escape. If not, then only an act of great sacrifice can hope to save the Fellowship. Blimey, you fools! Hey guys, and welcome to the Tabletop Alliance. Hello, everybody. So, as you can see, this has been a much, on our part, anticipated <laughs> video, uh, getting to finally recreate the Bridge of Khazadum sequence from the Fellowship of the Ring. Yes, we have our amazing set to go with, our new backdrop, our new set, all the, everything's been upgraded. Full film studio in effect here. We've even got new microphones. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully it sounds okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a few shout outs we want to give before we get started, yep. mainly to do with the stuff we are using. Mm -hmm. As always, the super talented Michael from Nat One Videos made the majority of this board. Yes. Uh, I don't know how well it comes across on camera. I'm hoping well because in person, it's absolutely mind blowing. Yes. Genuinely. Every little detail, I feel like I could walk out onto these hills. I know. It, they just look real. Yeah. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. And then the detail in the stonework, the colour is spot on. Even these pillars, look at this. I'm going to give a little uh, behind the scenes magic away here. Watch, ready, ready. Whoa! Wee. So good. Uh, yeah, I you can't. Mean, can't... That, that's how the dwarves did it. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I can't put into words how good this looks. So Incredible. check out Nat One Videos, make sure you mm -hmm. subscribe. He does have a full video on the build for this yes. piece. So if you want to see how it was made, go and check that out. Yep. This middle section here, the bridge, which... Ooh. <gasps> Spoilers! <laughs> it can come away. This was built by Carl from Carl Makes Stuff. Uh, again, link in the description, check out his channel. Awesome job on that middle section. Mm -hmm. uh, the goblins that we will be using were painted by Elston from Elston Nation. Again, Great painter, check out that in the description. And finally, the fellowship models that we are using were painted by Benji from Benji's Hobbies. Yes. I've actually been watching loads of Benji's videos mm. recently. Uh, awesome channel, so yes. yeah. Yes, super talented. Yeah, uh, check out the links in the description and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. The game we are playing today is yes. obviously the Bridge of Casa Doom scenario. So, to break that down, mm -hmm. the fellowship are starting in the stairs back here. Yep. They're gonna make their way across the board, over the bridge, out this exit and on to the, the mountains yes. at the back. Who you are controlling. I am playing the Fellowship. Yes. Now, obviously with swarms of goblins chasing us, <laughs> us as in the Fellowship, um, the Bridge of Khazadum needs to be broken in order to prevent the chase. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're just going to get slaughtered on the mountains. Yes. So, at least five members of the Fellowship, including Frodo, must make it out onto the mountains, and Gandalf must collapse the bridge. Mm -hmm. You need to kill Frodo or Gandalf, which means I can no longer collapse the bridge. Which yes. means you would run me over. And to try and kill the Fellowship, I have 24 goblins. 24. And plus that is two captains? Plus two captains. And uh, hopefully at some point, it'll be a very short, boring game if this doesn't <laughs> happen, the Balrog will appear as well. Yes. And to get the Balrog onto the field of play, it's in the end phase. I believe, yeah. or the beginning of... I believe it's the end phase. End phase. I need to roll a dice and get the equivalent or... So the end of your move phase. End of my move phase. So it's the equivalent or lower yeah. than the move turn we are on. So for once, I want to roll low, yeah. which means this time I won't get the ones that I like to get the rest of the time. Yeah. So, so basically what that means is on turn one, James needs to roll a one for the yeah. Balrog to enter. Turn two, a two or below. Turn three, mm. a three or below, and so on. Yes. So no matter what, by turn six, the Balrog will arrive. Yes. I need to get, preferably, my main hobbits at least, mm. over the bridge before the Balrog arrives, because he mm. will be, he's basically chasing us, so he's coming through that gap as well. Yep. Uh, the goblins are swarming in, closing in this gap. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I can move a little bit faster than goblins, yep. apart from the hobbits. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to yep. be real tough. And I do have archers as well, so it's not just as simple as move fast, it's 
dodge arrows at the same time. <sighs> I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not yes. going to lie. I will say this is the uh, scenario out of the Quest of the Ring Barrow book, like we did the Weathertop one before. But again, because of our amazing scenario, uh, scenery, sorry, not scenario, um, we've had to alter very slightly because we don't have a square board. We have a overly circular board. Yes. Um, but we've kind of adapted it a bit, and I think it works just as well. Yes. Or we hope. By the end of the game, we may disagree, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, with that out of the way, I guess it's pretty much time to get on with the game. I believe so. We will talk a bit more about the Balrog when he appears, because he's got a lot of special rules. So, yeah, he does. Yeah, we'll and go... And very good stats. Yes. So, yeah, when, when he appears, we'll talk about that. So I guess we go on to it. Do we roll oh, for the first part? Sorry, sorry. Yes? The last uh, thing to mention is the rules of destroying the bridge. Ah, so yes. So only Gandalf can do that, obviously, because he mm. must use his Sorcerer's Blast spell, which is a 5 plus to cast, and if it's successfully cast, on a 1, it does nothing. On a 2 to 5, it damages it, but doesn't break it, but means I get to add 1 to my next turn. Mm -hmm. And then on a 6, it is broken. So basically that means on turn 2, if I roll, I only need a 5 because I got a plus one from the table four if I had a two to five. Hope that makes sense. Yep. Uh, okay, I guess we're ready to go. I believe the good side gets priority. That makes sense. That's how it's normally done. And yeah. It doesn't specify otherwise in the rules. So that's how we'll do it. So I will start my movement. Okay. Now, this is a large board, so because of the nature of it, we're gonna yeah. have to keep swapping positions and <laughs> whatnot. So I'll but, come over here while yeah. he does that. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna cast a spell with Gandalf. Oh, before anything, yeah. okay, okay. So I'm going to use Blinding Light. Now, Blinding Light, I've got these cool uh, magical power cards here. Blinding Light targets the caster themselves. While this power is in effect, any shooting attacks directed at the caster or a friendly model within six inches will only hit on a six. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is I need to protect Frodo from archers the best I can while mm, they are trying to leg it across. Oh wait, I, I, I need to actually roll to cast it. Sorry. <laughs> that yeah, would that, help. That would help. It's a two plus. There we go, it's cast. As you see, we've got our new rolling dice tray. We're trying to set it with the camera on it. Hopefully this works nice for this uh, for this game and it can be a permanent setup. Because the way we did the dice before oh, was one very time consuming in the edit. So we kind of need a way to cut that down a little bit. And I think this will be a nice clear way to show it. Agreed. So yeah, that's... Uh, so is that everyone moving four for the hobbits or...? Uh, nope. I've moved everyone about four and a half, so they're staying ahead, and the hobbits can just... So the hobbits are falling slightly behind. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so is that good for your movement? That is good for my movement. Okay. Swap back. Swap back. <laughs> the other issue I have is trying to reach the other side of the board. <laughs> but all my goblins can move five. After all, I did get a nice little warm-up with using Moria the other day, if you haven't checked out the uh, Rohan versus Moria setup game. Game setup, words and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's move our five with my warriors and archers. If I go two and a half, brings them basically out to here. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to get to the bridge without engaging in any combat because obviously I'm massively outnumbered. But because those stupid small hobbits move so slowly, I think yeah. it's going to be a struggle. Well, to be fair, if you could. I believe you've forgotten someone. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you could, I hope we can see this on camera. <laughs> Boromir got left behind as he seemed to fall over the stairs. Boromir, please let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Boromir. Well, there we go, he's see, back. It's Sean Bean, he's just naturally like, oh no, no, I shouldn't be alive here, should I? <laughs> okay, now reaching over here, what's my five get me to? About there-ish, so move them up. And my other issue is I need to be able to see because all these pillars are in the way. So I'm going to move my archers half again, and then I guess we just kind of go for that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have got my archers up on the walls, so I will be leaving them there because it looks very cool and it gives them some elevation, so. The other thing I'm gonna point out as well is obviously I used this spell with Gandalf to start my turn then, blinding the light. Mm -hmm. um, he has a staff. When, when a character has a magical staff, they can expend one point of uh, will without, you know, yes. any. So it's basically a free point of will each turn. Okay, so now before we 
completely end the move phase, I get to see if the Balrog appears. Oh yes. So, you turn... Need a, you need a one. Turn one, I need a one. Come on. Only time ever. Come on, a one. So ah! I'm gonna leave uh, this, like, here. Just okay. this turn one. Okay. okay. So we remember. Yes. Shoot in? Yes. Okay, I move more than half, so I will be plus ones to hit with my, I guess, archers. Correct? Yes. Legolas so is an expert archer, so he gets three shots. Oh. Which I love. Oh. I love. Aragorn gets I one. I feel like I don't have enough goblins to withstand all the archery. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Legolas. Mm -hmm. oh, do I want to take out some archers? Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to have to shoot at shields, you know? Or I could shoot at these guys. I can only see one of them. Ooh, this is a tough call. This is tough indeed. Legolas is going to shoot us some shields. Okay. Okay. Three Wait, shots. as in normal soldiers or captain, just to confirm? Because I do normal have a captain soldiers, at the front. Normal soldiers. Okay. So three shots. Plus oh. one, so no. Oh, Legolas. Oh, he moved that little what bit too far. What have you done? Uh, Aragorn will shoot at the archer back there. That he and can see. Aragorn hit his. So he hits on threes normally. Okay, so it's, it's a four again. It's a four. It's easy hit. A four. And he has a normal bow, so it's strength two. No, no good. <laughs> it hit the number two. Uh, Gimli is going to throw an axe. I'm again unsure if this is right, but we'll do the same rule we always do, which is if we've moved more than half, it's mm -hmm. plus one to hit. Yep. It's 12 inch range, so it's no problem. Easy. He's going to throw an axe at again one of the shields. Uh, so it'll be five to hit because he's normally fours. It's a five. And it's strength three, so I think I need fives. We'll check that in a sec. It's a it one doesn't anyway. matter anyway. So it doesn't matter. Classic Jake Rowling. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother throwing any stones with the hobbits, so you can carry on. <laughs> okay, so let's start off here, closest to me. These two basically can only see Gandalf, so that is two shots at the wizard. And you cast your spell, didn't you? So yep. I need sixes just to hit. Yep. I may as well have moved them all the full distance then, because it made no difference. <laughs> That's a six. That is a six. I had to think then. So I got one hit. Come on, let's do some damage to Gandalf. Oh, that didn't actually roll, so I feel a bit bad with that one. <laughs> uh, it's just, it, it was it, a six though. Yeah. So it was a six? <laughs> yeah. So that's a potential wound to Gandalf. Wow, fantastic. Turn one, straight away. Um, so how many so fate has Gandalf He got? does have fate, and because he is wearing a, a ring of power, he can re-roll uh, any failed fate rolls. So, yes, I can't believe I'm having to use fate already. <laughs> okay. If I can get you to use... He's okay. okay, but he loses a fate. But, yeah, if, you, if all your fate can go before the Balrog even appears, I say, oh, it's one. You've still got two. It's not that bad. Next last shots. So, if I go, these two up here are going to shoot at Legolas. Okay. Both misses. Two misses. Okay, the two up on the other stone over there are going to go for... I'm going to go for Sam. Ooh. I can see that frying pan. <laughs> one hit. hit. How many hits? How many sixes? God damn Another it! Six. Are you kidding me? Sam Wise Gamji taking an arrow to the face. Does he have any fate? He has two. He has two. It's a two! He's gonna have to use another one. It's okay. a four. He, he but both has... fate have gone. That's an awful starting turn for me. Okay, absolutely and awful. Would you would you say that the captain archer can see Aragorn? Or is that gonna be an in the way? Ooh, I no, that's got to be in the way, surely. That's in the way, okay. So I'll do the two normal archers at Aragorn first. As don't need to worry about the in the way. Nope. Nope, and then, so, okay, six is take with the captain. No. Doesn't matter anyway. Okay, and that is all of my archery done. That was not a good turn, I'm not gonna I'd, lie. Yeah, I'll take that. If I can, if I can take out, yeah, I mean, taking out the hobbits is my best bet to get your numbers down. Um, and obviously Frodo is the one that if I can kill, yeah, I can win. So. I need to keep him covered. Okay, priority. Yes, I don't know if I want this or not, so we'll see what happens. Two, two. It's you. Ah, oh, it's me. So, just to confirm, it's got the same number, but he had it last turn, so that means it is mine this turn. Okay, so. I'm not feeling good about this game. Okay, let me just have a quick <laughs> think. Because that's... Oh, it's... The captain can just reach Legolas, but that means probably nobody else can reach anyone. Nope, just short. Just, just. Okay, well, I'm going to bring the captain in to challenge Legolas anyway, because at least that stops you being able to shoot me three times, which is a big thing. That's a good call. Um, and then I'm going to go... Ooh, sorry, pillar. Don't break the scenery. So let's go five this way, so that brings him to about there, and then I'm just going to move these up in line. 
Now I've got the difficult point of... Uh, Did you sacrifice Legolas? Do I sacrifice Legolas? Yeah. Oh boy. So then, spears coming up. Bring them up in here. Okay, now, another issue I've got is what I do with my archers. Ah, let them rot. <laughs> so that, sorry, just to confirm, that's less than half my height, is it? Yeah. Mm. I'd say that's a... So basically, yeah, I can climb, I can climb yeah, on top, yeah, yeah, can't no I? Problem. So, if I just bring, <laughs> bring them to up here, um, they can stay where they are. Okay, and on this side, I basically want to go... If I go two to there, and then three comes to... Now he's cutting off my route. So that means I can bring a couple up this way. And then five can come... Straight line out uh, to here. And then, you know what, I'm just going to move them the full, full thing. So I got Captain up to here and these two just behind. And yeah, I believe that right. is... So just to confirm now for the Balrog, is it end of my movement yep. phase or the entire movement? End of yours. So end of mine, so... Two or less. Two or less. No! Two! This is way too soon. I summon forth the Balrog. <laughs> okay. So far then, in the couple of games we've had, just to confirm, Aragorn I brought in on the first turn available, yeah. Balrog on the second. I like these balls. <laughs> I do not. And I like the fact that two is good. Okay, so to confirm, Balrog then now appears on the edge, but I guess that means I can't move him. No. Um, so our Balrog is here. Actually, I believe you can, but you can't charge. Okay, so he can't... Because of the wings and everything, he can't actually fit, but... He's I gonna can, fly over that. So yeah, he's, <laughs> we'll pretend he's below that. Um, he could basically come to the top of the stairs, and I can't actually put him to the top top. That's fine, leave him there. So I'm gonna say I would move him up to this side, to basically behind where Sam is. So imagine now, he is down in there. But for the moment, he's gonna sit up on there. No problemo. Lago? Yes, I okay. believe so. I'm gonna cast the same spell with Gandalf just to make sure you need sixes. Oh wait, did you move them all full? Um, apart from the guy sitting on top of the rocks. So I'll anyone, do it anyway. Yeah, just anyone it's on the free. floor needs that plus one anyway. The guys on top do not. It's free and yeah, okay. let's do it. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I like it. I like okay. it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, swap sides. Mm, I'm not. I'm not feeling good about this. Oh. oh, he's decided to ditch Legolas. Oh wait, no, I can I can charge you, can't I? You could oh. you could charge me if you want to charge me. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So Gandalf he's... is gonna make his way up here. Okay. Oh, I need to keep Frodo protected. It's so, so annoying. Just to confirm, Aragorn has he challenged both of those? Yeah, he's challenged both of those. Okay. Um, but because he charged, my spearman cannot. Reinforce because that would have had to have been done on my movement. He's challenging. So Gimli's taking on two archers. Yeah. Aragorn, Gimli, and Boromir are all taking on two. Okay. And the hobbits are going to need to stay protected. So annoyingly. Oh, that was more. Okay. Oh. They're going to have to. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can picture this like a movie that they've all spread out. Holding off a corridor worth of space for the hobbits just to be like, oh no, run away! Scary green things. <sighs> okay, I don't think anybody can see Frodo. Okay. Oh, he might be able to. Mm. Who, who are you thinking of now? This guy. I think there might be too much of an in the way for that, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <sighs> that is... You done, yes? Yep. Okay, so now... Poor Gandalf. <laughs> again, remember, the Balrog is down there. Yeah. So we will go on to shooting. Yes. So I will start with my captain on the floor, um, who is not engaged in battle, so the one just there. And he will shoot at Sam. So again, sixes. So I got two, doesn't matter. Okay, now the two on this side... Actually, the two on both sides, can I confirm they can see Gandalf fine? Yeah, no problem. So that's four shots coming from... Both angles at the wizard, trying to run away like a coward. Damn. Oh wait. No. You, oh, your spell my, failed. My spell failed. So one of them hit. So... Can he do it? Yes! 
are you kidding me? I love goblins. I feel I feel like I I'm them. I'm growing a connection with the goblin. Am I turning into a goblin? Uh, okay. Does so, it have any fate left? Yeah, yeah you, just, have you still got two. You did you did succeed. I've got to try and hold off to fight the Balrog, so I'm gonna have to use it. And he failed. He can reroll failed ones because of the ring of power, so he's fine. And it's fine. But, but he still one used left. one, so he's only got one left. And now, additionally, the Balrog will shoot. As the Balrog has his fiery lash that he can use. And that has a range of 8 inches, but remembering that he is supposed to be in that gap, which he can pro it's, it's the whip that's annoying. I feel like I'm going to cause damage if I put him down there, but yeah. still pretending that he is there. And I am going to go for Samwise Gamgee. Oh dear. So, the fiery lash, range of 8 inches, strength 7. And if I do not kill Sam, he gets dragged into base contact with me. Bye, Sam. So, Strength you fought bravely. Hit. Oh. Sorry, strength seven hit. I think that's what I said. Um, okay, so with the fiery lash, it's strength seven, defense three, meaning I need threes to wound. And Sam still has two wounds, I believe. Yeah. But no fate. That's correct. So, regardless, I'm not going to kill him, so he's going to be dragged into base contact with the Balrog. But let's see if I can at least do the wound. Nope, it's a one. But that's okay, because he's now dragged into battle with the Balrog. Which also exposes Frodo. It does indeed. So. Yeah, they. Yeah, my other two archers as well, just to confirm, they were. Everything is in the way, so yeah. we're not going to shoot with them. So Sam has now been dragged over here in our pretend base contact with the Balrog. Fantastic. Okay. It's I not thought, going well. Yeah, we go, I don't we... have anyone I can shoot with, so. Nope. Okay. I okay. could throw some stones, but. Okay, where would. Oh, wait, no, I had priority, didn't I? So yeah. let's start. I'm going to start with the Balrog. I want to. I want to start with the the big one. Uh, so the Balrog has four attacks with a fight value of ten. Ten. I don't even have even have a heroic action I can call with Sam to try and help. Plus his fight value is three, so I physically could only get up to nine. So yeah, <laughs> I true. don't have okay. much of a chance here. It's a six. I oh got a six. no! <laughs> oh, I thought I just won that. He, he tried. He, he he turned around and went, you know what, I'm going to go down fighting. <laughs> and the bar uh, was like, no. <laughs> so again, his actual strength is nine, but I don't think you ever need less than a three on the wound chart. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Sam survives. <laughs> Wait, he has two wounds, right? Yeah, he does have two wounds. No fate. Okay, but... Because you didn't die, I apologize for reading, but <laughs> there's so many rules with the Balrog, I cannot remember them all off the top of my head. He has now been set ablaze, <sighs> or potentially set, a, set ablaze. He's got the Flame of Udun special, which basically means if the opponent is not slain, they must roll a d6, and if they roll a six, they are set ablaze. So you have to roll a dice. If it's a six, you are set on fire. I do. But it's a one to five, you are fine. I get so few sixes. So it's gonna be one now. Come on. Oh, the six was facing me. That's not fair. Okay, so he's not set on fire, but yeah, he's down to a wound. Okay. okay. I mean, I'm really frustrated. I didn't kill him then. I can't believe it. He, he no. does. Sam is brave. Yeah. He does go down fighting. Okay. Okay. So now the rest of us. Let's go to Legolas on the captain then, as he's probably my best chance of winning anything here. So yeah. my captain gets two attacks, but only fight value of three. So I'm probably not gonna. Everyone gets, uh, Legolas gets two attacks. So, Captain, five and a four. Five and a five. Five and a five, Legolas wins. Okay. And to confirm my defense is, this is the one with the shield, so his defense is six. So only fives to wound. That's and nice. he does not get them, thank God for that. Okay, next we'll go for Boromir. I assume he was challenging the two, or the did two, you just go He was one? challenging the two, yeah. The two, so again, my fight value is rubbish, so let's see, a four and a one. Ooh. He had a six, so... Oh. Uh, a reminder that Boromir does get a three point of might each turn as well. No, he just has six, sorry. It's Aragorn that gets a three point of might. Yes. Boromir has six. Okay, which is still handy. Five and a four, what's your strength? My strength is four. So yeah, so because they both got shields, need five, so Boromir kills one. And he will use a point of might to kill another. Ooh. Yeah, I got, I, got, of... I got six of them. Yeah, but risky. It is, it is risky, but the plan okay. is just to hold him. So that's... <laughs> just, just, just hold. No, I want him to hold, <laughs> hold them back so the hobbits can get through, so he's going to okay. stand. 
sacrifice okay. himself like he would. Let's next go for Gimli on the two archers. Uh, so Gimli has the choice of a two-handed axe or an axe in each hand. He's going to go for three. Uh, one in each hand. Which one each hand, so three. So yeah. he doesn't get the plus one on the wound, but he doesn't suffer the minus one on the win. I had a fa <sighs> The goblins win something! Uh, Gimli's also going to use a point of might. Oh! <laughs> that would make me automatically win, yeah? Yes. Okay, so he does have three, so he's down to two. Uh, oh. But I could do with not losing battles at this stage. So it's a wound. It's one, one dead. Well done. Better than risking him losing a wound. Okay. And let's <laughs> just move him back. And now we move on to Aragorn. Again, Again he's fought two. Two on one, so a five. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on! Uh, uh, so he does get his three point of might, but it means he would still have to use one of his own. I'm going to have to. Oh, I he need, is going I, to. I need to, to take some out. <laughs> this is risky business. Yeah, it's got to be done, though. He doesn't have Anduril at this point, so he doesn't automatically kill everything on fours. But his strength is... Oh, it's four. It's four, <laughs> so he still needs fives. So unless you want to use another point of might... No, no. One is dead. Okay, one is dead. <sighs> I was expecting him for more, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for more, at least. And then they've been moved back. Okay. So, I believe that is the end of turn... Two or three? Two. Three, two. I yeah. feel like this is a really important priority. <laughs> this could be a big one. If you surround Frodo now, it's game over. Okay. Priority? Yeah. But uh oh. Come on. Uh oh. Okay. So. Oh, I don't know where to go with this. I'm gonna say. Okay, let's just confirm distances first. So easily five. Easily five. Yep. So that basically means that these four can bring a challenge to Gandalf. Not surround him, but at least outnumber him. Um, I will then bring... Ooh, how am I going to do this? If I bring one guy to Aragorn, and then the captain's going to come forward to challenge Frodo, one guy's going to take on Gimli, Spear guys are going to back up the fight with Frodo. The Balrog is actually going to come past and now take on... Can I fit him in now? He's wings, man. I can't even do Just it. Just remove, remove the pillars if you want. Yeah, I think we're going to have to move these out of the way. They won't matter for in the ways now. But, yeah, for the Balrog, it needs to be done. So the Balrog's going to come around and challenge Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well at all. Um, I don't think I'm even going to make it to Actually, the because of the size of his base, he can challenge Sam and Legolas. <laughs> so he's actually going to take on the two of them. Um, I'm going to have the these two surround Frodo. And then I'm going to have a, one spear guy take on Boromir. The captain take on Pippin with a spear behind him. Actually, no, the captain's going to take on Pippin and Merry with a spearman backing him up. And then, you know what, let's just bring the spearman around to here to back up the Frodo fight. This one can come just five inches this way, not in battle, and oh, I left it over here. Okay, and then these guys are just gonna move five down towards the escape route. Okay, so as well with the Balrog, another special rule with him, which again, ridiculous. He has the special rule of Demon of the Ancient World, which means he gets to call a free heroic combat every turn. Oh my so god. So no points of, well, he doesn't have any points of might, the Balrog, but he doesn't need one to call it. So I will call it starting now. So that means if I defeat Sam and Legolas in this turn, which I don't see happening, I can then move forward and enter another battle. But yeah, I believe that is me done. You have no one free. Um, and I know I should probably move my archers on the walls, but they look cool. <laughs> so I might end up losing just for like a cool looking scene. But <laughs> I don't think you're gonna end up losing. Probably not. I don't think I'm even making it to the bridge. That's um, the plan. Do we need to separate these a little so we can see what's going on? Yeah, we can do. So it's Gimli and the Gobbo there. Um, I had to move them away from the bridge. <laughs> and the Gobbo. That would be cheating. There. <laughs> 
Aragorn is just a one-on-one -on -one there. These guys have actually surrounded Frodo. So then the captain's taken on Merry and Pippin as they are slightly back there with that one spear guy in. Legolas is on the Balrog, Barmy is fighting one, and those two are just off on their own. Same as the spear guy. Okay. So priority. So as I called the heroic combat, we may as well do the Balrog fist. Yeah. In other words, I think we have to. So again, my fight value of 10. Although my rolling hasn't been that spectacular, so I don't know how this is going to go. I got a six. Cool. Okay. So just to confirm, Sam has one wound, no fate, and Legolas, how is he looking? He's fine. So what are, what are his? He, gets he has two wounds and three fate. Two wounds, three fate. So this is unlikely to kill Legolas, or impossible, nearly. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I can kill Sam with the three. Yep. And then I can do two potential wounds to Legolas. So Samwife's Gamgee has now fallen. Bye, Sam. You did okay, I guess. I mean, he held off a Balrog for a turn. That's pretty good going. All right, I'll use two fate for Legolas. And they both save. Okay, so that means he has one fate left, yes? Yes, he has one and fate left. Now, would you like to roll again to see if Legolas is set on fire? Not really. No six, please. I just rolled, I got my sixes out of the way with doubles there. One. Ah. Oh, I feel like one should be the one that sets yeah, on fire. Know, yeah. But either way, that's fine, I <laughs> guess. Um, Okay, so that is that move done. Um, yeah, Balrog cannot move again because Legolas is still alive. So let's start with the captain. These were supposed to have been touching when I separated them. So it's the captain and a spearman on Merry and Pippin. So my captain has a fight value of three. Okay. What do Merry and Pippin... Merry and Pippin's fight value is also three. Okay. They only have one attack each. Same fight value, may as well roll together. Okay, so captain may as well roll separately. Three and a three. You did have a three. Oh, come I did. on. <laughs> that, no. Oh, wait, actually roll for the other guys well, just to check. That was a three, so our general way is we re-roll again. Re-roll, yeah. So, Captain again. Six. And normal Goblin is fight value two, so I don't think that'll actually matter. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. So, actually... Mary and Pippin win. I somehow don't win that. They also have the same strength, which is two, so I'll roll together. They only get one attack each, because Hobbits suck at this stage. So... Okay. They do nothing. Yeah, they do absolutely nothing. But they survived. That's the yep. important bit. And kind of for me as well, they didn't kill anyone. Yeah. So, numbers. Okay, so that's them. Let's go on to just bar me a one-on-one. -on -one. I can't see... Uh, that's yeah, six. that's a six. Sorry, Gobbo. I don't think you'd... Oh, oh, wait. It does. He doesn't have a shield. Oh, thanks So God. he's only... Just confirm. Yeah, defense four. Bar me strength four. <sighs> that means... Balls. That was lucky. Okay. Um, let's leave Frodo until last, shall we? Yeah. So Gimli on one. Were you going two or uh, three? I'm going three. That's the six. I'm rolling good to win, but terrible to... Oops. To wound. Does he have a shield? No shield. Oh, okay. I'm assuming give me strength four as well. Uh, I believe he is, yes. So that's another archer gone. Then we'll go for Aragorn one-on-one. -on -one. Again, I'll let you go first. It's cocked. Oh, come on, man. Five. Fives. Uh, I might as well roll. Three. So didn't really matter. Dead. Yeah, very dead. I don't know if I went the right way about this. I think you but did. I think it's you did. hard to judge. Okay, Gandalf will do four on one. Gandalf actually sucks in combat right now. He only has one attack. Fight value of. It's fight value is okay. So. It's uh, five. Okay, you go first then. It's a four. Four. So let's see how this goes. I got a six. Six. How many points of might does Gandalf have left? He does have three still. Still has three. So you need to use both to win. Well, at this point, he's not even going to make it to fight in the Balrog, so I'll have to use both, I think. Ooh! So he's down to one point of might, but at least he gets to survive and, and roll and to wound. Three. So three. That does nothing. Wait, oh. wait, oh. wait. He does have Glamdrin. Which means? Increases his strength by one when making strikes. What does that just get? A three. A three. It's so strength th five. So that means you're now strength six, and I am defense... No, no he's now strength five. He's now... Oh, yeah, then no chance. My defense is four without a shield, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Just normal goblin. Ah. Okay, so that's nothing. And now we move on to Frodo. So, getting into the Frodo battle, uh, mm -hmm. this was meant to have been done in the movement phase, uh, but it's something that was obviously going to be done, so we are doing it now. Frodo is obviously mm -hmm. putting on the ring. Yes. Uh, you know, he's not going to survive if he doesn't. Now, the one ring special rules are quite complicated. Mm -hmm. Basically, what it means is Frodo is now invisible, so for. James and the goblins to attack him, they need to do a courage test. 
This doesn't actually represent how scary Frodo is, it represents whether or not they can see him. Which is why, because the Barok has a special rule, meaning I automatically pass courage tests, but that doesn't matter for this rule. Yes. Um, and also, because of the ring's power, I guess, they also mm. get minus one on their rolls to pass. And goblins don't have much courage anyway. Yes. Yeah, so that's frustrating. They also, However, in battle, get half of their fight value. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's pretty good. Yeah. What's the downside, though? Was it something about the will of Sauron? Yes, so it, the downside is, and I'm going to read this to you because it's quite complex. If the ring is already being worn, then the controlling player must test to see if the ring bearer can overcome Sauron's will. This is pretty cool. To do so, they must roll a dice immediately before they move the ring bearer in the move phase. I didn't move him, so this is pointless, but mm -hmm. yeah. This is Be a, more for a, next This time. is a house rule, essentially. <laughs> um, if a player does not wish to move the ring bearer, they must still roll a dice, but can do so at any time during their move phase. The roll is made on behalf of the ring bearer himself, so we allow the controlling player to use the ring bearer's might points to modify this dice if they wish to do so. On a 3+, plus, they move as normal. On a 1 or 2, the opposing player moves the ring bearer instead of the controlling player. Regardless of which side moves the ring bearer, they are still part of the controlling player's side and all other actions such as shooting etc remain in the controlling player. This means that when the opposing player moves the ring bearer, all they can do is move the model, including charging. Mm -hmm. uh, they cannot perform heroic actions, they may be forced to perform actions, blah 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 blah. Okay, so basically, as we just said, should have been done the move phase, but it wouldn't have changed anything I've done, so regardless. And I couldn't have gotten any, uh, anywhere out of the way, so... No. Yeah, okay, so I've got to go through all my courage tests. So my captain has a courage of three, which is now two, and standard goblin has a courage of two, which is now one. So, I'll start with the captain. Nope, he does not challenge. Um, which really in turn means the spearmen don't challenge. Nice. Yep. So, okay, um, sword guy further away. Ooh. Ooh. Next sword guy. He's yeah. fine, and then the spearman to back him up is not. So actually, only one of them end up in there, <laughs> which is quite frustrating. So then just move these back a bit. Okay, so it's actually just one-on-one -on -one then. So Frodo versus a normal goblin. So what is your fight value? Well, it's halved. As it's been halved, my fight value is now one. Great, so minus two, three actually. And I got a one. Yes! Don't even need to roll the win, because I automatically win. So, I also carry Sting, which means I get plus one to my strength, which makes me strength three. <laughs> and I'm still defense five, so that would be five. Five. That's a five, Frodo kills him. <laughs> Cracking so, job, I went Frodo. from the potential of about 14 attacks to dying. Yeah. Uh, we did mess that up a little bit, that whole one ring thing. Should have been done in the movement phase, but because James had priority, it didn't actually it didn't change matter. anything that was would have happened, so... Yeah. You know, you live and you learn. I have a question, though. Because okay. I put the one ring on, it's now on, yeah. permanently. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. That's the whole thing about rolling to see if I control you or you control you. Okay. So, priority. <sighs> Two. Two. That's me. That is you. Oh, no. Okay. So, I guess, first of all, we need to roll for Frodo. Yep. To see if you do or So, do I, I do. roll? Yes, I yep. believe so. So, it's... Three to six, you control him, basically, and one or two, I do. Am I right in saying that? On a three plus, the controlling player moves the ring bearer as usual. Yep. On a one or two, the opposing player. Yep. Yep. Oh, yes! of course. Hmm, Frodo, that's a nice big cliff to jump off. You if only I could. I know, I know <laughs> I can't. But still, he isn't going anywhere, though. Okay, do you want to move him? Is he staying there? I, I move him in my move. Oh, okay. I assume, I assume I'd move him in my movement phase, so. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I'm. Uh... Are we swapping? Yeah, we're swapping. Ooh, I can have a sneak look into his stats. Gandalf's gonna get here and wait, and then. <laughs> Let me look at my spells a second. So I've moved Gandalf to the edge of the bridge here, and I think it's time for him to use some magic. Now, Sorcerer's Blast is pretty cool. It's basically a big, powerful blast of magic. It has a range of 12 inches, but it uh, basically, the first person it hits, it then blasts them D6 away from the caster and not prone. So I cast it at this goblin, and it has a straight line back. So if this is more than, I'd probably say, two inches, it also hits him. They take a strength five hit and are not prone. 
Okay. Okay. So he has a free uh, will. So I'll use it as a five plus to be successfully cast. Nope. Nope. I do have six will though, so I might. Yeah, I'll use another one. Yep, it's a five. So Gandalf hits him on a d6 away. Three inches, so yeah, that easily knocks both we'll of these. Me measure that. Is that going to affect Aragorn? I tried to do it in a straight line so that it doesn't touch him. That straight line from Gandalf to that goblin is right in Aragorn's line. No, it's not going to hit. That's nowhere near. Nope. No. So he gets moved back. So where's three go to for him? Edge of the stairs. That stairs. Ooh, that, that goblin's touching Aragorn's base. Yeah, but he doesn't go further three inches back. He just knocks Oh, so he gets him. knocked out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So they both take strength five hits. Okay. So I have to get... What's your defense? Um, neither spears for fours, so you're going to need fives. No, fours, sorry. Fours to wound. One dead. One is dead. Makes sense to be the front one, I guess. Over there. Okay, now the rest of my move-in. Um, oh god, this is tactically a nightmare. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Aragorn's gonna come and challenge these two. I can't move Frodo because I don't control him. Ha <laughs> ha! Gimli's gonna come around here and challenge the captain and that guy. Okay. Oh, what's, what's Pippin's courage? <laughs> Want to take on the barrel rod? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Pippin's Courage is four. And I think you suffer minus one as well. So I'd need a seven. Let me just double check that, because my thing's over here. Yep, anyone within 18 inches of me suffers minus one to Courage. Okay, Legolas is going to be brave and take on the Balrog. Okay. He passes. So, um, yeah. Well, yeah, it's Courage well, six. Oh, okay, yeah. So Legolas is going to face the Balrog just to hold him off to try and help the Hobbit survive. Uh, and I will say, I, I assumed I have to do it in my turn, but I am calling the obviously free heroic combat again. Yep. Um, Boromir is going to challenge these two. Yep. Uh, Pippin's going to stay there. And Sam is just going to move Mary. up. Mary. Oh, sorry, yeah, Sam's dead. <laughs> Mary's going to move up to there. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So now we move on to me. And just to confirm, because you have the one ring, I can't shoot you. Nope. So I can't just put you in line of my archers. Um, so, Frodo is going to move. I've left Pippin in the way so that he can't move into base contact with the Balrog. So I've actually still got a captain free. So, Frodo's going to challenge my captain. Ah. Who is right by there. And in fact... Oh wait, just to confirm, do I need to do a courage test now because I've moved you into combat with me? Yes, because it's not a courage test, it's to see if you can even see me. But I've moved you into contact with me, not me into you. Yeah, but I'm still invisible. So the obvious... Well, that's a weird rule. Yeah, but it's common sense, isn't <laughs> I mean, it? Like, can, can yeah, you but, even but fight I'm, me? I'm telling Frodo to do it. Yes, but you still... Okay. I'm invisible, so it's not a courage test to fight me. It's, can you even see me when you... Okay, so those... I'm taking on both. So captain first, then. Five, so that's no. Um, and spear guy. Eight. <laughs> Which is no, because they actually get minus one, don't they? So he needed nine. Okay, now also, just to confirm, um, because they, that, wasn't, that was not a courage test of fright, that was to see you, can mm -hmm. I still move them? Yeah. Okay. So I will just move them up to challenge Pip. Oh, poor Pip. And then he can actually just carry on his move for another couple of inches. And then I will go Archer. Archer, mm, Oop. Mary. and spear to surround Mary, and this spear guy, well, actually, instead of doing support, I'm going to bring him around that side, and then this guy, who was not challenged, will actually surround Pip as well. Oh dear. Um, and that goblin there, I would technically move up here, but yep. I don't trust he's going to stay there. Um, so just to confirm that they are all in line of sight of Gandalf. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's everything I can do. Yep. Okay, so shooting then, I will do my four shots at Gandalf. <sighs> Take down the wizard. One hit. <sighs> yes. One hit, damn. Oh, my okay. palms were sweating. Okay, were your knees weak? My, my arms, arms are heavy. 
Yeah. There's vomit on the spread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, you have priority, so you can choose the order in which oh, you die. Let's that was... get Legolas done. Oh. Okay, so the Barog with his four attacks. Yep. Three uh, sixes! Six, six, six from the Fire Demon. Okay, and what happened to Legolas last turn again? Just so Legolas has still two wounds and one fate. Two wounds, one fate. Okay. So. Five, four, and a three. That will do it, won't it? Yep. So that means Legolas is dead, and I did call heroic combat, so I can now move the Barog up again. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Barog is moving towards Mr. Frodo. I think this is game over. But I need to I need to do a courage test. His courage is naturally seven, so it's six, so I actually need four. So just to confirm that first, seven, the Balrog has had his line cleared to go for Frodo. I believe we did do everything right there. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. I think. So, do we go straight on to Frodo then? Do I see it's, if it's game over, so yeah. Okay, so the Balrog taken on Mr. Frodo. Six, well, two sixes. Um, I, I, oh, did I have to do it at the start? What? Heroic defense. No, you can call it now, because we yeah, did yeah. that very quick, so that's... So I'll call heroic defense. Okay, so that's his one might gone, or one of his might. Yeah, it's two. One left. Okay, so I need natural sixes now, which is a shame because I do have strength nine. Um, so natural sixes, one wound. Um, he has two and three fates, so I'll use a fate. Nope. Here's another one. Yes. So he has that's one fate left, but kept his two wounds. Okay, but would you like to also roll to see if he is set on... Fire. No six. Oh. Okay. That I don't wasn't how you survived that. Okay. Pippin. Uh, yep. So that is a captain and two standards, and I've surrounded you, so I actually get plus one to my fight value. Five. So my captain is. So your fight value is three. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my captain's fight value is now four because I get the plus one for the Moria Army Special, which didn't matter. And the two other goblins are the same. Five. What did you have? Five. Five. So that is a reroll. Unless you have any might. Ooh. Which I shouldn't have probably said. I do not. You do not have any might at all. So we go again. Five. Captain, five. I'm higher, so I will win. So now the captain is strength four, and you are defense. Uh, not good. Three. <laughs> okay, so I need fours with the captain, and he gets four attacks because you are trapped. So that's two. And then I've got. Four attacks with the normal goblins as well. He's dead, no matter what. Oh, he's dead no matter what. Never mind then. He only has one fate, one wound, so... Okay. Awesome. Two hobbits down. Well, and well, an elf. If you kill uh, Pippin, no. Merry. Merry. This turn, it's game over anyway. Ooh. Wait, actually. No. I need to get five off the board to survive. Yes. So, so you need to get them off the board. Yeah. Which one, one, which one are we doing? I was doing Mary, sorry. Okay, so I get the plus one to my fight value, which means we are equal, just to confirm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, three, three, two. That is a good job that I actually... So just check. Oh, six, five, and two fours. My strength is... Yeah, my strength is three. What was your defense? defense three. Okay, so I needed the four, so that was three potential wounds. Yep, this has not gone well. Okay, okay. borrow me. So that's two for me. Oh, they tried. Oh, for God's sake, Boromir. Whew. Uh, okay, so that's moving them back. Gimli. Uh, three or two. Oh, you went three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that means you win. One dead. One dead. Well, I've got my captain, so do you want to potentially do a wound or kill the spear? I'll just kill the spear, man. <laughs> I need to thin these numbers. The captain's not great. I need to clear away a path to get me through. And Aragorn. So five. Okay, just do my two. A six, so I guess you're free. free. of might. Yeah. And oh, one set. And, six. and they're both the same, so it doesn't actually matter which one goes. Okay, that was a big turn. It's pretty much game over. I can't believe I haven't got anyone to the bridge. No, it's, yeah. Because I felt like, at the beginning, I didn't have enough numbers to fight an entire fellowship. Mm. But it's the hobbits, they're, they're a letdown. Oh, it should... is what it is. Okay, well, priority then. One. 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 Uh, so I get course. it anyway. So again, I will call my heroic combat. I have to roll for Frodo. I'll roll for Frodo, um, see who controls. It's, I it's you control, but I've got priority anyway. So I will make the Balrog go to challenge him again. 
So do my courage test. I need four. I got two of them. So the Balrog can attack Mr. Frodo once again. Oh, let's roll for my guy to get up. Three. He's up, but he can't. He's up, but he's stuck. Yeah. Okay. Um, so from here, I will go... And yeah, I will leave you with... I don't know if I'm going to regret this. I will leave you with Gandalf, and we'll see how this goes. Don't know if you've got any spells that can save you. I might. Okay, so I've only got Gandalf. Uh, he does potentially have a spell that could save me. Um, reading the rule book, though, and the, the, the rules of the, in particular, spell, which is command slash compel, or in Gandalf's case, command, it doesn't say whether I can target an enemy that's in combat or not. So we're assuming as long as it's got line of sight, it can. Yeah. Because the only thing it says is if I channel it, the target will half their fight value and attack characteristics. Yeah. I mean, I get it makes sense to say it can, because yeah. it doesn't say it can't. Exactly. It's probably the yeah. better, better way to go for it. Yeah, that's the way we're going to do it. It doesn't say that I can't do that, so yeah. we will. It's so, got a 12-inch range. And you... Yeah, all it is is you'll just need Which, line of sight, so yeah, I mean, you might just need to move out of the way of Frodo attached. I mean, Frodo is half of the Balrogs. What do you mean? He's hiding behind him. I don't... Yeah, no, that, that, yeah, that is a fair point. Yeah. I, I don't think line yeah. of sight is really affected there. Um, no, it's a four fair. plus to successfully cast, so I'll use his free will. It's right. cast. I can move him up to half his distance away. So three inches. Um, I'm just going to move him... I'll measure this to be safe. <laughs> So that's down there. The walls. Mm. I just flip through that way, so yeah. I'm back a bit. Okay. Okay. So that's. Well, are you moving any more this turn with him, or are you? It makes sense. <sighs> you basically have just moved him back to where he was. It doesn't actually matter anyway. Yeah. So if you want um, to. I mean, he's. Can I cast more than one spell? Yeah, as much as you got will. Yeah, I'm going to cast Blinding Light as well. Why not? Okay. So that's. I got the. I used the free one, didn't I? You've used the so. free. Yep, that's a two plus, so that's oh. fine. But I down one well, so I'm down to four remaining. Okay. Okay. So shooting? Yep. Okay, so. To be honest, I think if we couldn't use that spell then this game wouldn't yeah. be well and truly over, so it's probably a good thing. Oh, oh. You are you are probably about half an inch out of range <laughs> of my fiery Ooh. lash. Thank um, God. But ah, uh, Frodo is not out of range, but he's wearing the one ring still. So I'll do my four archer shots at Gandalf. Need sixes. Oh, I could have moved Frodo away then. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you can move him now if you want. I do want to. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of cheating here and just get him a bit closer to. <laughs> okay, so I one one hit Gandalf. And he didn't do any damage anyway. Didn't do any damage. damage. <laughs> now I do have an option of. <laughs> I could just use Fiery Whip into a battle and risk taking out my own goblins, as I only do need to take out one more person. But I won't. Not today. Okay. Not yet. Not today. Not today. Next version of this battle. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Who had priority? Uh, you. Yes, I did. So I will choose battles. Let's start with... <sighs> let's start with Aragorn this time. Okay. Let's go. I think that's a convincing that's one a for you, so... That's a nice easy six. That's and both they're dead. both dead. See, this is the issue that I was just having with myself, is whether I bother putting many in, because I feel like they're going to die anyway. Yeah. But at the same time, if I get the odd chance to win, I need to do damage. True. Uh, let's go for Gimli next. So, two or three. Three. Oh, five, three, three. Um, so I've got the captain in there first. I'm assuming your fight value is higher than four. Uh, yeah, my fight value is... Ooh. Six. Okay, so that was the captain, three and two. And the normal guys, three and four. So I win. Pathetic. Come on, Gimli. One. Yeah, let's just oh, take... Oh, well, there's the captain, so you got that option. No, I'll take out the sword guy. Sword guy. Um, Boromir, again, yep. has three attacks. Okay. Ooh, three. three. That's not good. Okay, so I'll go captain first. Five and a three. Ah, oh, I'm gonna and use... Then, wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four more. Okay, so it's still a five so with the captain. So I need two points of might to win, yeah? Um, what? 
Yes, Sorry. but I will. If you do do that, I will also use another point of might with my captain. Okay, so I'll use all. Of, well, I'll use three. So I know. has two left. And I have one left with the captain. So Boromir has no fate at this stage, so it, I have to win. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the the roll to win. Yep. Rolls. Okay, three attacks. Oh, that was well worth it. Okay, do you want to challenge the? Well, take down the captain or take down normal goblins. What do I need to wound a non-shield? A non-shield defense four, so, so it's going to be fours. So I'll take out. Um, There's two spears, well, two archers. Three of them. Just take out three of the normal ones. Yeah. I'm going to assume two spears and an archer. Yep. And an archer. Okay. Whoa, I. Uh, I feel like. I. Oh, this is going to be tough. A part of me really wants to just get Gandalf on the bridge and collapse it now, but then I can't escape, so... Yeah. <laughs> that would be silly. Okay. Oh, boy. Priority, then. Yeah. Come on. It's a six. Okay. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? No. I can't lose anyone. Right, first things okay. first is let's get... Oh, wait, i got to roll for Frodo. That's a two. Yes, come That's on. That's not good. That's so... Wait, I can use Mike to affect it. Does he have any? He has one. One left. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm going to use it so that you can't. Damn it. <sighs> oh, okay. Math is bad. <laughs> you can get to there. Now, what's Gandalf going to do? Does he want to use Compel again? How much might does he have? Yes. Four will left. Okay. He's going to use Compel again on the Balrog. It's a four plus, I believe. Compel, command, four plus, yes. It's a four. So he takes the Balrog and he's going You know what? Me. I've got will. And I've got free will. Oh. Which I should have used last turn. So either way, I get resistant to magic. So I get a free dice to resist first. Four, so I resist. Damn it, oh. why did I forget that? <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. The twists and turns of a battle. I can't keep using my will because I need to destroy the bridge. I mean, you can. <sighs> you just won't win. Right, okay, there's no risk of Frodo getting shot at because he's wearing the ring. So that's that. Um, <laughs> I have a question. If I put Gandalf there, does that mean they can't shoot at him? Because there is something in the way. But I can't see him, so it's not. He's, he's still there. But he'll move out of the way. That, wasn't that the thing with okay. it, is I can't shoot him. All right. So I can't risk him being in the way. Okay. I don't know, to be honest. I'd assume because he's wearing the ring, it doesn't count as being in the way. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a tough decision. See, what do I do? I know it's hard now for me as well, because I've killed the ones who are easier to kill. So now I've got to take down one of the tough ones. Yes, you do. Oh, Gimli, you're going to have to challenge the Balrog, my friend. Coach test? Yep. Oh! oh! Gimli is now sat there thinking, oh no, what have I done? Oh no, that's not good at all. Well, Boromir's going to challenge these two. Uh, Aragorn's going to challenge those two. Okay. Oh, that's so bad. So yeah. is that now my moving? Yeah. Okay. All you got to do is take Gimli out and it's over. So, I'm actually not going to challenge Gimli so I can shoot at him first. And then with my last remaining goblin, I will just bring him in and surround Mr. Mir. First name bar. <laughs> um, okay, so shooting. <laughs> I'll do my four shots of Gandalf first just to, oh, and obviously I'm calling the heroic, free heroic combat again. It's Balrog before we get there. Um, but anyway, first things first, the four shots again at Gandalf. And you didn't cast your light this time, did you? No. No, so I need fives. Which is good, because I got a five. So that's two shots that hit. And they just cannot hit him. Okay, so the Balrog will do his one shot of his fiery lash at Gimli. A six, so that's a wound. No, it's not, sorry, that's a hit. My bad. <laughs> But still, it's a strength seven. What's your defense? Defense eight. Ooh, so that's a five. 
so it doesn't do it. But because I didn't kill him, I still drag him towards me anyway and bring him into base contact and therefore bring him into battle. Okay. Shall so, we do the Balrog first or last then? Do it first because I called heroic combat so I can move him okay. again if it's yeah. all okay. So, the Give Balrog, me. four attacks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, before anything else, we're going to move this pillar out of the way just so the camera can see what's going on. And then, now this is very difficult for me because I could call a heroic strike uh, with Gimli, but I need the might. And all that would do is add a little bit, well, maybe not even enough to my fight value, so it's probably too risky. I'm better off keeping the might just in case. So, yeah, I'm just going to roll the... Okay, so just normal, normal battle, so yep. four for the Balrog. Five. That's a natural six. Yeah, you made a six. <laughs> so Gimli survives. Thank God. And gets ah. to roll to wound as well, so that's that's worked that well. It's fours. I'm guessing that's not going to be enough. No. Surviving is enough for me, though. That is frustrating. But I suppose, though, you can't get him across the bridge at this point, so I'm no. okay. Yeah. Okay, so next. Uh, Aragorn? Yep. So six. Go I just on. haven't been able to do a thing with him. Uh, what does he need? What's your strength? Aragorn's strength is four. So the defense of my... Oh wait, no, it's a captain. So basically defense is a fives. So you need... So you got your three point of might. So you can kill the goblin or take a wound off. Or attempt to take a wound off, I should say. I'll kill the goblin. Kill the goblin with this three point of might. Ah, uh, wanted to do more damage than that with him. Okay, Boromir. Boromir. That's a natural ah. six. And two ones. Okay, it's a wound. That's a six. So that's, again, captain or two without. I mean, you've still got might, so his strength is four as well. Mm, no, I'll just kill a spearman. Just kill the spearman, okay. To be fair, Gimli, Aragorn, and Boromir have been the only ones doing anything for yeah. me, really. I guess priority. Yeah, it's priority, we move on. Again, this is probably the be all or end all. It's a three. three. It's a five. Okay, roll for, roll roll Frodo. for Frodo. Oh, come on! And he's got no might left. He's got no might, has he? He used, no. the, used last one last turn, I believe. No. So I control Frodo again. At least he's far away from the Balrog. Okay, well, I'm going to use Compel again with Gandalf's free point of might. Again, Gimli is less than half of the Balrog's height, so it doesn't... Yep. Yeah, happy with that. So it's a four plus for uh, command, sorry. That's a six. And resist. I got my free one. It's a one, but then I still have ten will. Yeah. So... I can just do them one at a time, can't I? So that's one down, two down, three down. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Jeez, you so that's four will. Then. Four will. That was poor. Um, so I used my free one. I got four left. <laughs> Need to destroy the bridge, though. This is so difficult. Why do you have so much will? Because he's... A demon of the Have ancient. Do you reduce fire. your will? Yeah, six. Oh, that's boom. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, boy, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I try and cast it again? <laughs> decisions, decisions. I am. Okay. No. That's one will down. Waste. What a waste! What a waste! Three. He's got three left. <laughs> oh, Gimli. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, let's get Frodo as nope, far away. I'm controlling oh, Frodo. Oh no, I can't move Frodo. <laughs> Frodo is mine to control. <sighs> He's uh, losing the will challenge with Sauron. I don't know if I can give me survive another turn. This is the I mean, he ball. tried to kill me last turn, so. That's true. He's done quite well. But can that he do it true. two turns in a row? Oh, I'm just going to have to try and take out the remainder thing. Oh, Gimli will just challenge you. Coach test then? <laughs> No problem. Ten. Yeah, he's already in. Okay. Oh, I could regret that. I so, could regret it, but I gotta hold him off. My movement, yeah? Yep. So Frodo, you can come. Um You know what? Just straight line for the bow, please. So just down by there. Uh, okay. So shooting. Yes. So again, four shots at Gandalf. Oof. One hit, because you didn't cast your spell. Let's see how that goes. Two! They have been... I really should have bought them down a while ago, <laughs> but I just don't want to. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So battles then, I guess? Yeah, let's get the Balrog done, because again, if you slay Gimli, it's game over. Six. I think it's game over. Four attacks. Two fives. I mean, that's... What's your strength? Nine. Oh. So that's... You need threes here. Yeah, so that's two. How, what's two wounds, he's got two wounds, two fate. Okay. Nope. Yes, so he loses one wound and has no fate oh left. Oh boy. But you also need to roll one more dice to see how you have, if you have been set on fire. This would be a really inconvenient time Two. to get it. I'm going to roll this one. No! <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if that was really loud. I did not see that happening. But, okay, so... We may as well go into it now. When he has been set ablaze, it means he suffers one strength nine hit. And then one more strength five hit at the end phase of every turn then until he has crawled one inch, so led down, crawled one inch, or gone into water, which there's no water. So basically, strength nine hit. So if this is a... Three. Three. I thought you'd def This is a five. And this and game, game over. is gone. <laughs> So basically, I managed to kill the five weakest. Yeah. Which was, kind of, which was kind of the plan. I mean, it's kind of stupid because would it be a failure if Frodo, Boromir, Aragorn and Gandalf all got across the bridge? No. But the rules state that he has to, if he kills five or more, he wins. And he has killed five. <sighs> okay, that was... That was actually far closer than I expected. Um, especially being able to get the Balrog in as early as I did. I thought he would have done more in a way um but it was hard to get him through that initial line to get past because of the amount of minis yeah the issue was i couldn't get anyone to the bridge uh mainly mm. due to the big cut off of board we had so everyone started closer yeah uh, so it's a bit of a shame so we but... probably should have started like here really yeah but it was just I, yeah. yeah in my defense you set it up so i just tried to match what the guidebook <laughs> said and that's all it yeah. is it, it was a tough one, and yeah, I mean, I feel like if that was a normal battle, the Fellowship would have stood a better chance. Yeah. But because you've got the distraction of going, I need to get over there, then it, it just makes you think slightly different. It's and... also hard because I've got to protect Frodo. Yeah. Um, we did a few things wrong, that like we messed up the, the one ring rule right at the start of the game. Mm. Uh, so that could have gone a bit different, but I, think, I don't think they made too much of an impact. I think the biggest issue was the fact that you could get to me before I could even get to the bridge. Yeah. Uh, I could have brought Gandalf into battle, but he's better off standing back casting spells because he only gets one attack. Mm. So I don't think that would have been much different. Boromir and Aragorn did great. Yeah. I mean, there were little things as well. Like my captains did have the opportunity to do heroic march if I'd come to it and I needed to move faster, well, further faster, yeah. uh, which never came into it either. Again, I guess that is another thought process that would have come into it if I'd started further away. Yeah. I think, I know you said about bringing your archers down, but I think keeping them up there was the right thing to do because if I did make it to the bridge, they yeah. had... Uh, and to be honest, I just side. rolled so badly on the wounds. Yeah. I could hit a few, hit probably about right for what goblins are, but the wounds yeah. just weren't happening. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh. Especially if you put, took the hobbits that far, then they would have had more chance of doing some damage. Yeah. Overall, uh, I'm not doing too well in these battles. No, that's... Um, oh, and three. Yeah, 0 and 3 on. But the thing is, it's 0 and 3 on objectives, but it wouldn't be 0 and 3 if it was just. Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. <laughs> yeah. Um, overall, I think, you know, that didn't go probably as it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is designed to follow the story, and the Fellowship are supposed to win this. Yes. Uh, so it didn't go how it's supposed to, yeah. but the game board is phenomenal. Yes. Uh, obviously, I think it probably could have done with being rectangular, uh, which did have an impact on the particular scenario we did. But, I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. Yes, I think 100% we are going to be doing another just uh, match play yeah. battle on this at some point, with, yeah. without a doubt. Maybe even the uh, the Battle of Azanor Bazaar, something more like yeah. before the Lord of the Rings would be quite cool. Um, I think having goblins try and take from the dwarves would be yeah, a nice that, one. Yeah, that would be a really fun one to do, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be using this again. There's no chance this is a one-use piece. Oh, no. I've seen no, it. No, we've got goblins trying to take from the dwarves. We've got dwarves trying to reclaim from the goblins. It's, a, it's a, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff we can do on we this. We could just go alternate timeline and say the Dunedain have set up here. Yes. You never know. Yeah. We'll find something to do. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. But, yeah, that was a fun battle. I enjoyed, despite losing. Mm. Oh, again. I can't wait to just do more match play ones where yeah. I can beat armies that I actually want to beat. <laughs> yes. We have another idea for a battle as well, which we'd like to know your thoughts on. 
we're thinking of doing the Fellowship versus Thorin's company. I think that would be an exciting one. I do as well. I want to know who you think would win that battle. And Both in real life and in the game. Yes. We know in the game whoever James controls is going to win. So. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing, is as well as that, who do you think we should control each? You, why don't you guys choose which army, when we come around to that battle, who gets to be Thorne's company, who gets to be the Fellowship? I mean, Thorne's company is filled with short people, so... You I know what I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then they both have Gandalf. Yeah, true, true, true. That's it from us today, guys. Yes. Obviously, let us know what you think of the channel so far. This is a new venture for us. We've been thoroughly enjoying it. We hope you enjoy the new setup. We did test the water with a 40k video the other day. What mm -hmm. did you think of that? Do you yes. want to see some 40k battle reports? Yep. Or even 40k lore videos? Let us know. Feedback, obviously, we want to cater to you guys and what you enjoy. So let us know in the comments down below. Yes, and just one more shout out, actually, before we end, and so we don't forget. We haven't used the scenario today. Uh, this, I keep saying scenario. We haven't used the scenery today in this one because we've had this amazing set. But the battle mats that you see are from Battle Systems. Yes. Of which we have been given to give to you guys a discount code. Yes. That'll probably be on screen right now and yeah. in the description down below, which will because give you 10% we'll, off. We'll end up getting something slightly wrong in it. But yeah, on the screen, in the comment section. But yeah, 10% off and amazing stuff. It's a cheap price anyway, so get 10% off and again, it's just insane. Yeah, and these battle maps are awesome. Yes. Easily the best ones I've come across in the UK, so yeah. To the point we've actually got more coming probably today. Yes, yeah. Highly recommend. We're not yeah. saying that because they've got us a discount code. No. They are very good. They actually gave us a discount code because we were buying the stuff, so yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that, guys. Thank yes. you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Tabletop Alliance. I hope you enjoyed today's battle. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.